Hi, I'm Elizabeth at the Radford Public Library, and we are having an author visit from Gwen E. Kirby. She's the author of the book of short stories. The title is Shit Cassandra Saw, pardon my French. And this author is going to join us, not in person, but via Zoom. So you can uh, join in via Zoom on Thursday, June 16th, and that's gonna be at seven o'clock p.m. Please feel free to give me an email or give us a call if you'd like that information to be able to access with the meeting ID and the passcode. I'm really excited about this visit because we've not had an author of short stories of this genre ever before, and this book has gotten so much praise from a variety of different reviewers. So I want to give you a few reviews about this book of short stories by Gwen E. Kirby. The first one I'll give you is from NPR, and NPR says of this book, Kirby has mastered the art of short fiction, a stunning collection from a writer whose talent and creativity seem boundless. And then another review is from the New York Times, and that review is, Kirby takes joy in subverting the reader's expectations at every turn. Her characters might be naive, even reckless, but they aren't about to be victims. They're strong and brave and nearly always capable of rescuing themselves. And another review is from Kirkus, and Kirkus says this is a marvelous debut collection, zany plots, unconventional forms, and playful poetic languages. These stories delight at every turn. So this is such a great collection of short stories. It is about a variety of women. Um, some are um, your day-to-day -day average woman dealing with day-to-day -day problems. Some are more supernatural. Uh, some are uh, more from the past. Uh, far, far in the past. It's just a great variety of stories. The stories are all pretty fierce, in my opinion, and not easy to forget. I really loved this book. I was surprised in so many ways by every single story and feel the need to uh, reread them. Uh, some of the titles are A Few Normal Things That Happen A Lot, uh, We Handle It, which is a very chilling and disturbing short story. It's the very last one. But this is a pointedly feminist story or story collection. Uh, it might not be for everyone, but I don't know what book really is for everyone. This is highly well done and enjoyable, and I'm so excited and so looking forward to this author's visit. And just a little bit about this author before I let you go. Uh, she is a creative writing instructor and associate director at the Sewanee Writers Conference at the University of the South. And she holds an MFA from Johns Hopkins University and she's pursuing her PhD at the University of Cincinnati. And this was published by Penguin Random House this past year, I think in January of 2022. I could have that wrong. Uh, anyway, we're really excited about uh, reading this book uh, with the author, going over this book, the short stories, listening to her perhaps even read from her selections, give us some insight about the inspiration behind these short stories. Uh, if you are not a fan of strong language or if this title gives you any pause, then this might again not be the book for you. It's very, very powerful and very entertaining and comic, and it's described as Margaret Atwood meets Buffy, uh, which is what caught my attention initially about this book and made me want to read it, and partnered with all the fantastic reviews, and actually having uh, communicated with the, this author a little bit, she's so humble and lovely and wonderful to talk to. I think we're really in for a treat to have some time with her via Zoom, and again, that's gonna be on Thursday, June 16th at 7 o'clock p.m. Thanks so much for listening. We hope to see you soon to talk about Gwenny Kirby's book of short stories. Take care.